Hey guys, I am here with you today showing you guys some of my favorite products for the month of January. January? February? I don't know. Losing track of time. To create a look with some of my favorite beauty products for the month. And this is what I came up with. So instead of just sitting here talking at you guys, telling you guys about my products, I put them on to show you guys how they apply and the reasons why I like them so you can kind of get a bigger picture of how the products work and that you can see them in action. If you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then also ring that little bell so that you're notified for all of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see how I get this look and what my favorite products for the month were, then just keep watching. All right, so I have already gone and put the base of my makeup on just because there wasn't anything that I had tried out this month that I was absolutely loving. It was things that I had already had. So I don't have a favorite like foundation or concealer for you guys. Again, just because it's things I've already had and I've already tried and I've already talked a billion times about. So first I'm going to start out with um, the eyes. And some things that I have tried out this month are the new ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, they are really, really pretty. They're all ColourPop besides these two right here, and these are the Kylie shadows. I just have these in this palette, but everything else is from ColourPop. I think that they have such a good variety of mattes and then shimmer shades. I think they're really, really pretty, and they're also, they work really well. They are so blendable, so creamy. They're extremely pigmented, almost to the point where you have to use a really light hand or else you put way too much on your eyes. So I'm going to use this today. I'm going to take this shade right here and it's called Dream Boat and I'm going to use this as kind of a transition shade and into my crease. nice thing about these is that they are only five dollars on the ColourPop website and then to deepen that up a little bit I'm gonna use made to last and then to deepen up the outer corner even more I'm gonna use popular demand and then for lid I am going to take the liar liar I'm just going to use my finger to apply it and I'm just going to tap it on my lid. Do warn you though, this sparkly shadow does have some sparkle fallout. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just kind of going to do the exact same thing. Um, I'm going to start out with the first shade that I put on my lid and run that under my lash line. And then I'm going to take that second shade and run that along my lash line. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush, pick up the last color, and then I'm going to focus this right on the, last, the lower lash line as close as I possibly can, and I'm only going to stick to the outer portion of it. And I'm also going to take the NYX Fox Blacks Liner. I've used this in one of my other videos and I actually really, really like this. This is in the shade Burnt Sienna and I'm gonna use this to tight line. And the reason why I like this so much is because it's so creamy. It really just like glides on so easy. I don't have to do a whole bunch of like going back and forth. It just goes on really, really well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with this little pencil brush and I'm going to pick up the first shade that we used on the eyes and I am going to use that to smudge the liner out and blend away any harsh line lines. All right, and then to finish off the eyeshadow is another one of my favorites and of course you are going to hear this from everybody um, and there's a reason why. It's the Deal Up Magnificent Metals eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Kitten Karma. They are beautiful, so stunning. You can wear them all over the lid. You can, you can do whatever you want with them. So they're gorgeous. I really, really like them. So I'm just gonna take Kitten Karma and I'm gonna pop it in my inner corners. Now 
All right, and there it is on my eyes. You can see how shiny and metallic and glittery and just beautiful. I just, I love this color. I think it's beautiful. So then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And what I've really been using most of the month is the Benefic Brow. I've used it in a bunch of my videos. It is just a really good product, so I really, really like it. And then for underneath my brows, I'm gonna use Take It Slow. And I'm just going to put a little bit on there tap off the excess and then I'm just going to lightly put it underneath my brows just to give them a little bit of a highlight. And then I'm just going to throw on some mascara and I'll be right back. All right, mascara is on and then on to the rest of the face. What I have been loving this month to contour with is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. I just have this cute little sample of it that I got from Sephora. So I've just been using this like crazy and I just take it on a little brush like this. And the thing that I love most about this is that it really doesn't give like that crazy sharp of a line. And that's what I like. I don't like to have you know, a huge like cut strong line, just kind of more on the subtle side, I guess. And then for bronzer, something that I've actually really been enjoying, I did get these in my haul, this in my haul, and it's this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blend, and it's in the shade Translucent, but it does have those darker shades in there. And for me, because I am so fair, it actually does work really well as just a really, um, subtle bronze look. So I've just been taking it on this brush and I'll just swirl it around in there. So I pick up all the shades and then I just go in and bronze. And then for blush, I have really been enjoying the Too Faced blush in Love Flush. Looks like this. It's like a, a mauve toned uh, nude color, which I really enjoy. And it does have just the tiniest bit of shimmer in it. But honestly, when you put it on the cheeks, you really can't even tell. All right, and then for my highlight, I've been reaching for the Balmer Luminizer like crazy this last month. That one was my favorite, even though Got the Casey Holmes palette this month, so just a little shout out. I think that might be in my favorites video next month because it's gorgeous. Anyways, so I'm just gonna take this on a brush and just pop it on my cheekbones. And then I just do a little dab on the nose and then some on the cupid's bow. And then for my lip product, I've been really, 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 really enjoying the Kathleen Lights collab um, with Aquarius that she came out with in a gloss, a matte, and a satin. And the gloss is by far like my favorite. I have seriously been using this almost every single day that I put makeup on. It's just so pretty. And then I just use the Makeup Forever Professional Makeup Forever Mist and Fix to set it. And then some not, you know, makeup-ish related, some things that I've also really am enjoying this month is the Brazilian Kiss uh, Lip Butter. Just looks like this. I got this in a little duo that came with this and the Body Butter, and I really, really like this. It's so soft. It smells so good smells very like coconutty, beachy kind of smell, kind of like what the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer smells like. This one smells pretty much exactly like it. And I keep this right next to my nightstand every night and I put it on right before I go to sleep. And then in the morning, my lips feel great. So I would definitely recommend this one. And then something I also picked up just as a little travel size is the, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. So just this little cream right here, it's a really, really thick moisturizer. And I just take a tiny, tiny bit of this, put it around my eyes because it can be used as an eye cream. It's so, so, so hydrating and I love it. That little spot on my eye 
that has been so dry. It's been helping it out a ton. So I'll just put this really just where my skin is the worst on my uh, by my eyes, on my nose, and between my brows is where my skin is the most dry. So I'll just pop that on there every single night. And then of course I had to share the KL polishes. I am in love with these. I have them on my nails right now. I think Kathleen Lights did a beautiful job with the colors that she picked out. And I was really impressed actually when I went and applied it. It really took me like two strokes to cover the entire nail. So the brush is awesome. So here are the colors that I have. I have them in Snickerdoodle, Zoe, Das Suspensive, and Brick. So yeah, those are my favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really wanted to do something different with applying the makeup so that you could actually see how it worked and the look that it created instead of just me sitting here talking at you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.